okay, you guys, this next class is an advanced suspension class. Let's get this party started. <laughs> For this segment, I want you guys to connect your suspension kit to a high anchor point. I want you guys to watch me. Okay guys, we're gonna combine two exercises into one for this one. So what we'll do from here, we're gonna go into a reverse fly. So from here, straight into a reverse fly and then on my way back, I'm gonna turn it into a bicep clutch. You can see my elbows are staying nice and high. Out there and switching to my bicep clutch right there. Your turn. Okay, let's get into it. So you guys can see when Marilyn's hitting the reverse flies, her arms are staying soft straight and she's finishing at a T. And then when she's working her way back into the biceps clutch, the elbows are nice and high. They're as high as her shoulder. So you can see a nice straight line there. Perfect. That's how you want to keep it. A nice steady pace all the way through. These are really, really good sets. Now, the other thing you want to watch out for is you want to make sure you're holding a nice straight line with your body. So, Marilyn's got her core engaged the whole time. As she's pulling forward, she's shifting to the ball of her foot. That's what you want to do as well. Let's go for one more rep, Marilyn. And you're done. Okay guys, this one's called the breaching triceps extension. And the reason it's called that is because of the breach. Watch me. So as I drop, I'm actually folding over. So that's when I'm breaching form, right? And I'm gonna pull right through back into a straight line, just like that, okay? So I've gotta make sure I'm shifting my weight to my heels, just like that, and pushing right through. Now the elbows don't leave my ribs. They've gotta stay glued in there the whole time, okay? Let's get you guys to have a go at this one. Okay guys, let's get into this one. So you can see my elbows are glued to the sides, glued to my ribs, so I'm not allowing them to move. And I'm gonna just breach by dropping my bum back and pulling right through back into a straight line. So as I pull through, I'm gonna squeeze out with my chest, just like that. Kind of feels like doing dips. Got about 15 seconds left. Let's keep going. Two more reps. Last one. And you're done. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Okay, let's get into it. So you guys can see when Marilyn's hitting the reverse flies, her arms are staying soft straight and she's finishing at a T. And then when she's working her way back into the biceps clutch, the elbows are nice and high. They're as high as her shoulder. So you can see a nice straight line there. Perfect. That's how you want to keep it. A nice steady pace all the way through. These are really, really good sets. Now, the other thing you want to watch out for is you want to make sure you're holding a nice straight line with your body. So Marilyn's got her core engaged the whole time. As she's pulling forward, she's shifting to the ball of her foot. That's what you want to do as well. Let's go for one more rep, Marilyn. And you're done. Okay, guys, let's get into this one. So you can see my elbows are glued to the sides 
glued to my ribs, so I'm not allowing them to move. And I'm gonna just breach by dropping my bum back and pulling right through back into a straight line. So as I pull through, I'm gonna squeeze out with my chest, just like that. Kind of feels like doing dips. Got about 15 seconds left, let's keep going. Two more reps. Last one. And you're done. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Okay, let's get into it. So you guys can see when Marilyn's hitting the reverse flies, her arms are staying soft straight and she's finishing at a T. And then when she's working her way back into the biceps clutch, the elbows are nice and high. They're as high as her shoulder. So you can see a nice straight line there. Perfect. That's how you want to keep it. Uh, nice steady pace all the way through. These are really, really good sets. Now, the other thing you want to watch out for is you want to make sure you're holding a nice straight line with your body. So Marilyn's got her core engaged the whole time. As she's pulling forward, she's shifting to the ball of her foot. That's what you want to do as well. Let's go for one more rep, Marilyn. And you're done. Okay, guys, let's get into this one. So you can see my elbows are glued to the sides, glued to my ribs, so I'm not allowing them to move. And I'm gonna just breach by dropping my bum back and pulling right through back into a straight line. So as I pull through, I'm gonna squeeze out with my chest, just like that. Kind of feels like doing dips. Got about 15 seconds left, let's keep going. Two more reps. Last one. And you're done. Okay guys, a nice biceps isolation for this one. I want you guys to watch me. So what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna go into a biceps curl. And then as I finish up, I'm gonna go hands together and go into a biceps clutch. Now I'm gonna try and make it nice and smooth, watch. So just moving from one exercise straight into the other one. Your turn. Let's go. Okay, a couple of really important uh, notes with this particular exercise. You can see Marilyn's elbows are stationary. They're not moving. She's keeping it right in front of her as she's hitting those bicep curls. These are perfect. Um, the other thing to note is when she's hitting the biceps clutch, she's going into a perfect T, which means she's keeping her elbows nice and high. Um, another point is there's no breach in the body, so she's keeping a straight line from her ankle all the way to her shoulder throughout the whole exercise. So you want to maintain that, keep your core engaged the whole time. Let's keep working. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Controlled breathing, so you're exhaling as you're pulling in, you're inhaling as you're resetting. Let's go for one more rep, Malin. Now finish it off with your clutch, and we're done. Good job. Two in one exercise for this one, guys. So we're gonna go into a chest press, and we're gonna follow it up with some classic tricep extension. So a wide chest press just like this, straight out, and just over the shoulder, I'm just gonna go into a basic tricep extension right there. And straight into it again, so no rest in between. We can keep this one rolling along. Your turn.
Okay, let's get into them. Go. Excellent. So you guys can see nice wide elbows while Marilyn's hitting those presses. And then the elbows come back in. They're tucked right in when she's doing um, those tricep extensions. Perfect. So the tricep extensions are actually the more difficult of the two exercises here. Let's keep working. You can see she's pushing perpendicular against her body, so it's actually 90 degrees, which is spot on. That's how you want to do it. Now, to make the exercise harder, step back. To make the exercise easier, step forward. The triceps might start to get the better review after a little while. So rather than stopping, all you do is slide forward slightly and then keep it going. Two more reps. Last one. And you're done. Good job. Okay, guys, let's get set. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Let's go. Okay, a couple of really important uh, notes with this particular exercise. You can see Marilyn's elbows are stationary. They're not moving. She's keeping it right in front of her as she's hitting those bicep curls. These are perfect. Um, the other thing to note is when she's hitting the biceps clutch, she's going into a perfect T, which means she's keeping her elbows nice and high. Um, another point is there's no breach in the body, so she's keeping a straight line from her ankle all the way to her shoulder throughout the whole exercise. So you want to maintain that, keep your core engaged the whole time. Let's keep working. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Controlled breathing. So you're exhaling as you're pulling in. You're inhaling as you're resetting. Let's go for one more rep, Malin. Now finish it off with your clutch. And we're done. Good job. Okay, let's get into them. Go. Excellent. So you guys can see nice wide elbows while Marilyn's hitting those presses. And then the elbows come back in. They're tucked right in when she's doing um, those tricep extensions. Perfect. So the tricep extensions are actually the more difficult of the two exercises here. Let's keep working. You can see she's pushing perpendicular against her body, so it's actually 90 degrees, which is spot on. That's how you want to do it. Now, to make the exercise harder, step back. To make the exercise easier, step forward. The triceps might start to get the better review after a little while. So rather than stopping, all you do is slide forward slightly and then keep it going. Two more reps. Last one. You're done. Good job. Okay, guys, let's get set. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Let's go. Okay, a couple of really important uh, notes with this particular exercise. You can see Marilyn's elbows are stationary. They're not moving. She's keeping it right in front of her as she's hitting those bicep curls. These are perfect. Um, the other thing to note is when she's hitting the biceps clutch, she's going into a perfect T, which means she's keeping her elbows nice and high. Um, another point is there's no breach in the body, so she's keeping a straight line from her ankle all the way to her shoulder throughout the whole exercise. So you want to maintain that, keep your core engaged the whole time. Let's keep working. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one. Controlled breathing, so you're exhaling as you're pulling in, you're inhaling as you're resetting. Let's go for one more rep, Malin. Now finish it off with your clutch, and we're done. Good job. Okay, let's get into them. Go. Excellent. So you guys can see nice wide elbows while Marilyn's hitting those presses. 
and then the elbows come back in, they're tucked right in when she's doing um, those tricep extensions. Perfect, so the tricep extensions are actually the more difficult of the two exercises here. Let's keep working. You can see she's pushing perpendicular against her body, so it's actually 90 degrees, which is spot on. That's how you want to do it. Now, to make the exercise harder, step back. To make the exercise easier, step forward. The triceps might start to get the better review after a little while. So rather than stopping, all you do is slide forward slightly and then keep it going. Two more reps. Last one. And you're done, good job. Okay guys, blending two exercises into one, watch me. So I'm gonna start off, from here I'm gonna go into a front delt raise all the way up, hit that straight line, come back out, and I'm gonna change it into a twist row. One side only. And then front delt raise um, again. And other side. Okay, so we're hitting a front delt raise in between each one of those twist rows. Your turn. Okay guys, I'm gonna work in with you guys. Let's get into it. So you can see I've got my feet together. I'm keeping a nice straight line from my ankle all the way to my shoulders the whole time. So I'm not allowing my butt to drop out at all. Keeping that form. Now as I pull through, I shift my weight to the ball of my foot right here. And work that twist, get the obliques involved as well. I've got about 10 seconds left guys, let's keep going. Full range movement, and you can see my arms are staying soft straight on its way up. Time. Okay, a two-in-one exercise for this one, guys. So what we'll do from here, I'm gonna go into a T-row. Once I hit my T-row, I'm gonna go into a W-rotator. Now I'm gonna finish my move, and then I'm gonna finish off my T-row. So it looks like this. Your turn to try it. Okay guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see as Adriana's hitting that T-row, her elbows are nice and high. So it's a nice line straight across. And then what we've got is we've got 90 degrees of movement as far as the rotation is concerned. So just here and finishing off resting at that point before you hit your next rep. Okay, so let's keep concentrating on that rotation. Perfect, right there, and keep them going. Now, you want to make sure you're not breaching your body either, so let's try and keep a nice straight line so you've got your core active the whole time. We've got two reps left. One last one. And have a rest. Okay, guys, let's get set. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Okay guys, I'm gonna work in with you guys. Let's get into it. So you can see I've got my feet together. I'm keeping a nice straight line from my ankle all the way to my shoulders the whole time. So I'm not allowing my butt to drop out at all. Keeping that form. Now as I pull through, I shift my weight to the ball of my foot right here and work that twist, get the obliques involved as well. I've got about 10 seconds left guys, let's keep going. Full range movement, and you can see my arms are staying soft straight 
on its way up. Time. Okay, guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see as Adriana's hitting that T row, her elbows are nice and high. So it's a nice line straight across. And then what we've got is we've got 90 degrees of movement as far as the rotation is concerned. So just here and finishing off resting at that point before you hit your next rep. Okay, so let's keep concentrating on that rotation. Perfect, right there and keep them going. Now, you want to make sure you're not breaching your body either, so let's try and keep a nice straight line so you've got your core active the whole time. We've got two reps left. One last one. And have a rest. Okay guys, let's get set. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Okay guys, I'm going to work in with you guys, let's get into it. So you can see I've got my feet together, I'm keeping a nice straight line from my ankle all the way to my shoulders the whole time, so I'm not allowing my butt to drop out at all. Keeping that form, now as I pull through, I shift my weight to the ball of my foot right here. And work that twist, get the obliques involved as well. We've got about 10 seconds left, guys. Let's keep going. Full range movement. And you can see my arms are staying soft, straight on its way up. Time. Okay guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see as Adriana's hitting that T row, her elbows are nice and high. So it's a nice line straight across. And then what we've got is we've got 90 degrees of movement as far as the rotation is concerned. So just here and finishing off resting at that point before you hit your next rep. Okay, so let's keep concentrating on that rotation. Perfect, right there, and keep them going. Now, you want to make sure you're not breaching your body either, so let's try and keep a nice straight line so you've got your core active the whole time. We've got two reps left. One last one. And have a rest. Okay guys, we're going to work our chest press and we're going to work uh, some chest flies into it. I want you guys to watch me. So from here, chest press. And straight into a chest fly. Okay, you can see I'm keeping my elbows out on these chest presses. Your turn. I'm going to work in with you guys on this one. So important thing with the chest press, where your elbow goes, your wrist follows. So you can see nice perpendicular line um, up against my body, okay? And then when I'm doing my chest flies, I'm going to hit a T and I'm going to work my way back just there. Now, we can make it harder or we can make it easier simply by walking forward or walking back. So if I go back, if I do it from here, it's going to be harder. Now if I want to ease off on it, I can step forward. I'm going to keep going. So you guys figure out where the right spot is for you and work through it. Last rep. time.
Okay, guys, for this exercise, we're going to work a single arm row and a squat at the same time. I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to set up right here, hand on my hip. I'm going to drop into my squat and row with one arm. Just like that. And then what I'll do after 45 seconds is I'm going to switch hands. I'm going to keep it going. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into one of those sides. Let's go. So Marilyn's starting with her right, and you can see the left hand's just on the hip. Nice and comfortable. So good fluid motion. You can see Marilyn's dropping down into that 90 degree line and pulling straight back into that row. So one nice fluid motion. Okay, these are looking really good. Feet are parallel and their shoulder width, so make sure you guys are doing the same thing with this one. And I'm going to challenge you a little bit. I'm going to get you to pull slightly beneath your chest. This is going to get a little bit more work out of your lats. There you go. Perfect. Let's keep them going. Now, give me one more rep. I'm going to change sides. Excellent. Change your hands now, and let's keep going. Go. So one side is going to feel slightly more coordinated than the other. But that's okay, we're going to train both sides equally and we're going to aim for the same level of strength, the same level of coordination on both sides. Let's keep them going. Now, let's keep that nice and steady. We want to make sure we don't have a jumping effect. I want a nice, smooth motion on the repetition. Good, give me three more reps and we're done. One last one. Excellent. Time. Okay, working a slider press for this one, guys. So it's a press on one side, it's a fly on the other side. And then I'm going to alternate and work the other side as well. So you can see I'm holding a nice, tight plank as far as the body is concerned and just working on that hybrid press. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into those slider presses. So the side that's pressing is right now it's on my right side. It's actually the side that does the press. The um, chest flies side is just helping me with my balance. That's really all it's doing. So I'm essentially pressing one side at a time. I want to make sure I get right out into a T right there before I send it back. And just a shuffle of your feet. Stepping forward if it's too hard for you. Stepping back if it's too easy for you. Two more reps. And have a rest. Let's get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. Alright guys, I'm going to work in with you guys on this one. So important thing with the chest press, where your elbow goes, your wrist follows. So you can see nice perpendicular line um, up against my body, okay? And then when I'm doing my chest flies, I'm going to hit a T and I'm going to work my way back just there. Now, we can make it harder or we can make it easier simply by walking forward or walking back. So if I go back, if I do it from here, it's going to be harder. Now if I want to ease off on it, I can step forward. I'm going to keep going. So you guys figure out where the right spot is for you and work through it. 
Last breath. And time. Okay, guys, let's get into one of those sides. Let's go. So Marilyn's starting with her right, and you can see the left hand's just on the hip. Nice and comfortable. So good fluid motion. You can see Marilyn's dropping down into that 90 degree line and pulling straight back into that row. So one nice fluid motion. Okay, these are looking really good. Feet are parallel and their shoulder width, so make sure you guys are doing the same thing with this one. And I'm going to challenge you a little bit. I'm going to get you to pull slightly beneath your chest. This is going to get a little bit more work out of your lats. There you go. Perfect. Let's keep them going. Now, give me one more rep. I'm going to change sides. Excellent. Change your hands now, and let's keep going. Go. So one side is going to feel slightly more coordinated than the other. But that's okay, we're going to train both sides equally and we're going to aim for the same level of strength, the same level of coordination on both sides. Let's keep them going. Now, let's keep that nice and steady. We want to make sure we don't have a jumping effect. I want a nice, smooth motion on the repetition. Good, give me three more reps and we're done. One last one. Excellent. Time. Okay, guys, let's get into those slider presses. So the side that's pressing is right now it's on my right side. It's actually the side that does the press. The, um, chest flies side is just helping me with my balance. That's really all it's doing. So I'm essentially pressing one side at a time. I want to make sure I get right out into a T right there before I send it back. And just a shuffle of your feet, stepping forward if it's too hard for you, stepping back if it's too easy for you. More reps. And have a rest. Okay guys, we're rolling two exercises into one for this one. Now, have a look. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to roll a reverse fly into a chest hug, just like this. Now I want to make sure I'm keeping my arms as soft straight as possible throughout the movement until I wrap that hug around, just like that. Okay, let's get you guys to have a go at this one now. Okay, let's get into it guys. So you guys can see Adriana's alternating between right and left as far as which arm is on top when you do your um, chest hugs. Let's keep working through those. You can also see she's not breaching at all. She's keeping a nice straight line from her ankle to her shoulder throughout the entire set. So you guys want to make sure you're doing the same thing. Um, one thing I want you guys to watch out for is make sure as you start to tire, don't break your form as far as your wrist is concerned. You've got to keep your wrist nice and straight. So you can see Adriana's doing it perfectly. So squeezing right out on those reverse flies and giving yourself a nice big hug on the way in, just like that. Let's go for one last repetition. And time. Okay guys, we're going to work an abs rollout for this one and then we're going to extend to a triceps overhead extension. I want you guys to watch me. So abs rollout, 
Once I hit the rollout, I'm going to go into my triceps from here. And back into my rest, which is right there. Let's go for one more rep. Your turn. Let's go guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see as Marilyn's rolling out, she's getting into that nice straight line. Make sure you guys are doing the same. And then when she's going into that tricep extension, her elbows are sta sta staying tucked by her ears. You wanna make sure you're doing the same thing there as well. So you don't want your elbows to let loose, you wanna keep them tight, tucked by your ears. So these are looking perfect, let's keep them going. So you can see we're finishing one move and then going into the other one. Good, we want nice full range tricep extension on these ones. We've got two more reps. And give me one last one, Marilyn. And time. Okay guys, let's get set. We're gonna repeat the last two exercises. Okay, let's get into it guys. So you guys can see Adriana's alternating between right and left as far as which arm is on top when you do your um, chest hugs. Let's keep working through those. You can also see she's not breaching at all. She's keeping a nice straight line from her ankle to her shoulder throughout the entire set. So you guys wanna make sure you're doing the same thing. Um, one thing I want you guys to watch out for is make sure as you start to tire, don't break your form as far as your wrist is concerned. You have gotta keep your wrist nice and straight. So you can see Adriana's doing it perfectly. So squeezing right out on those reverse flies and giving yourself a nice big hug on the way in, just like that. Let's go for one last repetition. And time. Let's go guys, let's get into it. So you guys can see as Marilyn's rolling out, she's getting into that nice straight line. Make sure you guys are doing the same. And then when she's going into that tricep extension, her elbows are sta sta staying tucked by her ears. You wanna make sure you're doing the same thing there as well. So you don't want your elbows to let loose. You wanna keep them tight, tucked by your ears. So these are looking perfect. Let's keep them going. So you can see we're finishing one move and then going into the other one. Good, we want nice full range tricep extension on these ones. We've got two more reps. And give me one last one, Marilyn. And time. Okay guys, here's a tough one coming up. Let's set up first. So what I'm gonna do from here, I'm gonna get myself set so that I've got, so I can extend out with both legs just like that. And what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna crouch down and do a light push up with it. And straight back out into that extended position. One more. So crouch down and extend back out. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into it. Good, so you guys can see Adriana's crouching right down. And then when you're extending out, you're extending the arms and the legs. So we're gonna hit everything at the same time. Perfect, good. Let's keep them going. Now you might start to really sort of suffer in the shoulders with this one and you'll probably end up just shortening your push-ups. I'm gonna try and keep it 
as full range as you can, but if you have to shorten it just to make ends meet, it's okay. Do what you've got to do. Let's keep it going. We've got 10 more seconds on this side, and then we're going to take a five second break, and we're going to change legs over, okay? We're going to go over to the other leg. Give me one more rep after this, Adriana. Excellent. Let's change over now. Okay, guys, we've switched over to the other side now. So you're using your other leg. We're going to keep it going. Now we want to crouch right down, pull this knee through. Perfect. Extend all the way out. That's it. So getting into a full crouch, so into a tight box, if you like. And then we're going to extend right out um, both, both, both ends of it. So you want to go the full distance with that one. Okay, let's keep them going. We've got around 15 seconds left on this one. Good, you guys can see Adriana's starting to struggle a little bit. You guys will too. Let's keep it going. We're nearly there. We've got two more reps. Okay, give me one last one. And we're done. Well done, you guys. You got through your workout for today. Let's turn our attention to our in-house instructor for three minutes of stretching.